down all day long and how you guys held it together? Um, we came out uh, striking, doing what we supposed to do, SEQ, and um, then we got down and started having some miscues, fumbles, interceptions, um, but we came back second half and did our job and we came out the way. Devon, where does this rank in your, your career here? Uh, it ran in my career, one of my top names, Hill. You know, I was just waiting on an opportunity, and I got the opportunity, and I showed what I could do with the opportunity. What was it like after that game, after that touchdown? It was, a, it was a very emotional, you know, because, you know, I dreamed about when I, my, it was my dream school coming here, and I always wanted to make big plays for the school. And the day was the day I made big plays at a big game of the time situation. Dude, just you, both of you guys, can you just talk about the injury to Malcolm and, and how tough that was when you guys ended up going up 19 nothing, and it seemed like that took a little something out of you guys. Uh, yeah, it, it, hurt, it hurt at first, you know. He's one of our receivers we look to, you know. He's a, even though he's a young guy, we look, look up to him, you know, make big plays and stuff. When we got an injury, it really, like, took, like, a stab into the whole team. And the whole team was just eager. I think we got sidetracked, though. We were going to worry about the injury of Malcolm, and we were trying to do too much, trying to get the other team. But we just had to focus back on that game plan. Duke, you were extremely emotional, you know. I don't know whether I would describe it as despondent or not, but you were obviously very upset at the time of the injury. Um, Malcolm is one of my close, uh, closest friends that I grew up with and I'm um, very close to. And just to see him down there um, in pain and he's not able to help himself, um, it, just, it just hurt me. Did you guys say to him at halftime? Did you have a conversation? I know he was obviously still watching the game. Uh, we just told him to keep his head up, you know, just keep fighting. We here for you. We're going to go out here and play ball for you. Duke, you guys have come back down double digits on the ACC in the road twice in the first three weeks of the season. Um, what does this mean for you just as a true freshman and the mindset of this team now? Um, we just showed that um, we're going to go out there um, no matter what the score is and take it play by play, um, execute our roles, and hopefully come out with a W. But when we get um, down behind, we just have leaders on the team, um, upperclassmen that tell us to don't worry about it, just play. Um, we're not out this game. The game's not over until it's over. Guys, Mike, Mike scored yeah. the last three touchdowns of the game. Just what you saw out of him today, especially you do, because you know he means a lot to you. And just the way he sort of stepped up for the team. Uh, Mike, Mike is the type of guy that works hard. Um, Mike worked very hard, and just to see him go out there and do what he did, it just um, it just touched all of us. Just because um, the first three weeks he didn't have a touchdown, um, he was. He was making plays, but he, he wasn't really he wasn't really going off how he worked he worked so hard, and every time he touched the ball, it should be a good run for him because he worked so hard and he, he he's a good mentor and a good leader to all the running backs, um, upperclassmen or not. Uh, Mike just deserve everything he got today. Dude, the sheer joy. What was going through you? The emotions when he scored the final touchdown. What went through your body? Um, excitement. I was just very excited and happy for him. Um, just, just like I said before, just to see someone that works so hard um, and be mentored and mentor the guys and just just a good person, um, um, just but, happy to him. But for your team, like the, the, all the fans that were there and you guys were, you know, talking to the fans, what was that like to have all the fans there in the corner? Of that? Uh, it, was, it was good, you know, we had support even though we enjoyed it. We had a nice UN crowd up here, so it felt like pretty good to have them up here for the support. So. We played off the day so on off the emotions. Did you ever think you could outgain them by almost 200 yards? Did that seem possible coming in? Either. Uh, we wasn't really looking at outgaming them. We we're just doing what we practiced. Um, just doing what we did all week, and everybody do their job and execute. And even did a great job today um, of holding them. It's not all about us um, getting the high numbers. It's about the defense stopping them from getting, I guess, their norm. Uh, since more than any other team in ACC, y'all get tech a lot of trouble. Any, any theories as to why that is? Uh, you know, Coach D, Coach Nancy, he came from the Temple. You know, and they played Navy a couple years and stuff. And Navy offense is like Georgia Tech offense. Offense, and we just practice that every day. You know, everybody, the whole key thing to beat Georgia Tech, but everybody do your assignment. Don't overplay nothing. Just do your assignment, and the players gonna come to you. Okay, guys, thank you. Thanks, guys.